Well, I mean, yeah, I think the UK gives you a very good example of the way forward. They've halved domestic APD, and there's been a surge of new route, new domestic routes have been opened up in this summer schedule. We opened a two-aircraft base in Belfast yesterday. I think EasyJet have added uh, some domestic routes. You know, reducing APD will result in dramatic growth in the UK marketplace, and the UK marketplace needs growth, having made such a balls of Brexit. Um, they need as much uh, all of the incentives you can get. But, uh, and I think you know, there is, the, the purpose of A4E here in today is not necessarily to argue we just want all these environmental taxes taken away. We accept as an industry that you know, our pastors will have to pay a fair share of their, towards their environmental footprint. What we're pissed off about is that, that that money is not being used by governments who advocate using SAFs, who advocate getting to ambitious targets by 2030, 2050. They're not using the environmental taxation to stimulate the production of or the delivery of SAFs. We've seen no action from the European Commission on uh, reform of air traffic control, which would eliminate 90% of flight delays across Europe. Think of the environmental savings that will be made from that. You know, none of this is, but there is very little delivery going on today. We're going to hear from Commissioner Vallian later on. You know, and I don't want to be distracted by new technology and all the rest of it. Ask the simple questions. What have you done on environmental taxation or on the production of SAFs? What are you doing about reforming the uh, air traffic control around Europe, which is a mess? And when you got simple recommendations from Eurocontrol four months ago, what are you and the rest of your commission doing to introduce those? If we allow the French, and the French are entirely free to use minimum service legislation to protect domestic flights, what's the commission doing to protect overflights, to keep the single market or to protect the single market for flights across Europe?